Hello. Alright, so welcome to part 2 of the video. Here I'm going to be uh, showing how to make a command handler so we can start writing commands for the bot. Um, if you haven't watched part 1 yet where I explain how to set up the, the initial like uh, empty bot, I would recommend you to go back and watch part 1 and then here we'll begin with part 2. Alright, so since right now we have no way to to actually uh, retrieve our command files, we're going to start off by creating a folder and we're going to call it yes so just like commands you can write anything you want it's just it, if you write something different than me here you'll have to change something in the code so empty folder called commands and I'm just gonna I'm gonna put nothing in it for now I'm gonna start off by uh, creating the the file handler so first thing we're going to have to require our file system because we're gonna go look into our files so I'm gonna create a constant called FS I'm gonna require FS, which it stands for file system. And with this, we can now go through our files and read what we want. All right, so we're going to read our command files and store them into an array. So we're going to read directory. The directory that we want to read is the command one so that's where I said if you write something different than me up in the over here it has to match with this thing right here if you do not write the exact same thing it will not work it has to be case sensitive and everything um, and after that we're gonna try to catch an error if we get one if we don't get an error then we'll have files so we're gonna use arrow function um, so if we do get an error we're just gonna console log the error and if we do not get an error, that means we can try to grab our file. So I'm gonna write a variable called command files, which will use all my files that I receive, and I'll filter only the files that have a JS termination on it. So I know that it's a JavaScript file and not anything else. So um, we're gonna split it every dot, and then we're going to pop it so this removes it from the array and stores it into the command files if it's equal to JS alright so now so we're reading our directory we catch the error if we get one if we don't get one then we filter our through that directory and we try to get any files that finish with a JS which is the JavaScript termination so now we're going to check if we do have any files there. So if my command files dot length is greater than zero, oh sorry, if it's equal to zero, that means I don't have any files. So I'm just going to console log. No files found. And we're just going to return so it doesn't try to do anything else after clearly if it doesn't find any files it's done there and um, so after that we're gonna go to each of our files and we're going uh, going to uh, set up how we can export them from our command folder so every time we'll have a file here we're going to m export the module through the help commands so here I'll show you how it goes so you can put your command files and then we're going to use a for each loop on this and for each we're going to take a file and an index and we're going to use a arrow function so our props are going to require our command f uh, directory and it will go into our command f uh, directory and also use the current file that it's on so here we're going to put commands and then put a slash and then here's the important you got to put the money and curly brackets and put f this will load up the f the the variable f in here so it'll go into let's say we have a command called uh, help well it will go into the directory commands here and it will look to see if there's a, a file named help if there is one it will require it and then we will have it so if you just want to see if it loads files, so you can just console log and then you put 
um, the index plus one since index will begin at zero and we want it to be oh my bad so it's gonna be index plus one and then after that we're uh, going to load the file name so and then we're just gonna say that it's loaded so like this it's going to let's say we got five commands it's gonna start one help loaded two uh, bot info loaded etc so it'll keep you it'll tell you every every command that's been loaded off your uh, off your command directory so now we're just gonna set it up into the uh, so actually I forgot to do something here so we're gonna add our commands uh, property with the new uh, discord collection discord collection is just like a data structure um, to help us store things and gain a, uh, get access to them back later alright so about that commands equals new di discord collection and then I was down here so my commands I'm gonna set them to be the props dot help dot name and this right now looks it, it probably doesn't make much sense for you but you'll see in a second once I once I have a a file as an example alright so let me just check make sure everything's good so we we got the collection we declare our commands we read our directory nothing uh, set up on this side reading directory now we're gonna create our command handler and uh, so when it picks up a message it can check if it's a command or not so we're gonna write bot dot on and the event we're gonna use is the message of it and we're gonna give it a variable of a uh, ms msg I mean and then so if the if the message comes from a channel dot type that is equal to dm we do not want to uh, read into those we're just gonna return so if the if uh, the command sent into a, a direct message we ignore and if the message dot author is a bot we'll also ignore so here we skip if we don't read bot messages and we don't read DMs alright now we're gonna create a message array so message array is going to be equal to our message dot oops, to our message dot con and we're gonna split it at every white space so every if you write like uh, let's say I just write like hello my name well every time you see a white space here it'll store them in an array like hello my and name so it takes out all the white spaces and just stores them together alright um, so we're gonna create a variable called command. Our command is gonna be equal to our message message array of zero. So this is the very first. Um, so let's say we like an example again, like the hello my name. Well, the very first uh, object or I uh, or primitive object inside the array is always at zero. Zero is is here. So it would be technically our command here would be hello. For this example, all right, and now we're gonna make an argument value, which is gonna be equal to our message uh, array, and we're gonna remove the first thing. Oops, uh, we're gonna remove the first thing and keep the rest. So the command it will be in command, and the args will be anything that comes afterwards. So. Um, if we have like a, a, f a command that needs uh, certain details to specify, let's say you would start a game and you want to go a, s a solo, well you could use a start s and then a solo argument and that would could differentiate and you could have something more unique for it. Alright, so now we're going to try to read our command. So if this is a negation, so if our command that starts with prefix we're just going to return. So this what this means is if our command starts with a prefix, 
and then we negate it. So if our command does not start with a prefix, return don't do anything. Don't read it, don't don't try to execute anything. And then we're going to go and get so bar that commands um dot get command dot slice prefix dot let so what we're doing here so we're removing the prefix from the command and then we're keeping the rest so in, uh, what slice means is pretty much when you when you have like a let's say I would have this string here called uh, fortnite alright and then prefix dot length is just technically equal to one because it's it's this thing right here and this is a length of one so what it does it would take this remove it and then copy the rest into the command so we're only going to get what the word is saying and not actually the full not with the prefix so if we if we do get this then we're going to say our, our command is equal to bot dot command dot get and then command dot slice prefix dot length so now we've created a variable that holds our command and then if we have something in the command so if it's not empty or undefined or something we're gonna run it so and we're gonna run it with our bot our message which is actually message here and our args all right so with this we should be good to go and start command so I'm gonna save this I'm gonna go into my commands folder I'm gonna create a new file and I'm just gonna call it um, 60s uh, oops 60s.js I'm gonna create two more so I'm gonna start uh, I'm gonna make 30s.js and I'm going to make a now.js. So, uh, whoops, I created a directory. Um, now.js. Alright, so these three files right here that I have are, that are completely empty are going to be command files. So, to be able to use these, firstly, we're going to start by saying module dot exports dot run which will be equal to our sync function with our bot our message and our argument and then here inside these curly brackets is where all the codes gonna go and then to export it you saw you saw how early I said the props help thing which is not important until now you you can export your um your commands like this you hold the name and then this command is called 30s so like this it'll take this name it'll s and it'll it's readable from our index file over here so it sets that name that we just wrote down there as a command and this one's a pretty simple one so if someone writes the command we're going to tell them a 30 seconds warning until the game starts let's say so wherever the command gets written we're going to check so the message dot channel so this means that we're going to go read the message on which channel it's it's written and then we're going to send one in return and say um, next scrim in 30 seconds alright that's all we're just going to do one quick here Oops. so this is exactly what I just wrote at the last one so that's I'm not explaining anything here um, this is 60 s Alright, so this one will tell you that the next match is in one minute. This one tells you that the next match is in 30 seconds. And then now we'll just say like match starting now. So we're gonna exact same thing again. So module.exports.run 
which we're running in a sync function with these parameters. Now we have all this set up. I'm just gonna make sure that everything works right now. So I'm just gonna do a node index.js. So you see how it says one thirty loaded, sixty loaded, and now loaded. That means all of my commands are loaded. I'm gonna cancel this, and now I'm gonna show you how to connect your bot to um, your Discord real quick. So I'm gonna open a new browser. I'm gonna bring it over. Just gonna make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. Yeah, all right. Um, so we're gonna go to Discord slash developers and open a new tab as well. And just actually, I'm gonna put in the video description so you won't have to do this step. But um, I'm gonna grab the invite Discord bot link. So on this GitHub, someone wrote it down, so I can just go and copy it. So it's this code right here that I want. So I'm gonna replace it up here. I'm gonna put permission to A, just gives it admin in the link I mean and then when you press enter it will ask you which bot uh, which server you want to add this in so I'm just gonna add it into a I guess dev server for this example uh, run robot perfect all right so now we should have if I go on discord um, dev server Alright, so you see I got the YouTube scrim bot. It's now added. And then we can uh, test it to make sure it works properly. So I'm going to run this index. I'm just going to make sure my shell is not running anything. No. Okay. So then, um, so I'm going to do dot 60s. Next scrim starts in one minute. Alright, that works. 30s. 30 seconds. Now. Alright, so you see this is a very simple way to set up commands for your bot. And um, so we didn't really go in details yet on how we'll create the bot for the scrim section. This will be that will be my next video because I'm trying to make it make the video shorter since it's already quite long. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, don't forget to ask them in the in the comment section. Subscribe if you want to follow the series, and um, have a good day. Thank you.